Cover your tube, Geek Foley here once again, back with another video for you guys. And today's topic is going to be a viewer's request video, which means I'm going to be answering one of you guys' questions that you submitted to me. Because like I said, y'all my extended family, and the way y'all hear from me, I want to be there for you. So the lines of communication are always open, whether you just want to chat, or you got a question that you want me to address on air. So without further ado, let's hop right into... This young lady's message. He asks, How do you heal from being a rebound? Especially when the person made you believe he was over his ex to the point where he asked to meet my family, met them, and said he loved me. We dated six months and out of the blue said he needed time. A week later, he broke up with me and went back to his ex. Said he felt it was the right thing because it had been a three-year relationship. He admitted he used me as a rebound and asked me for forgiveness. How do I heal from feeling used and worthless over him, choosing her instead of me? I've seen a lot of videos explaining what a rebound relationship is, but none about how to cope with being hurt after you were to rebound. Any advice? Thanks. That's a really tough position to be in. It's a really fucked up position. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Being the rebound is never a good thing. Um, like I said, I know what that shit feel like being the rebound. Um, it's a pretty common position, but the only difference is a lot of people who was in that type of relationship, they never knew they were the rebound. You know, the person who was doing that never really told them, hey, I was using you. You know, so a lot of people don't know they was the rebound. In this particular situation, I don't know if it's better or worse to know that you are, but yeah, I've been in that situation before and I even did a video on it about me messing with this chick that swore up and down that she was divorcing her cheating husband and I knew her for many years and I thought maybe this would be our one shot to be together because she assured me that she was done with him and she assured me that it was me and her time to be together. This was a, this was a few years back, by the way. Um, but yeah, I did a video on this before. But yeah, just uh, making the long story short, after a few after a few months of her being, you know, inconsistent with me, you know, being hot and cold, she'd be there for me a lot, saying how much she loved me, she cared about me, and she wished we were together sooner. <laughs> you know, and then some days she'd dip all together and we wouldn't talk all the, and we wouldn't talk period. She'd just vanish off the map. And eventually I confronted her about it and I said, Hey, why are you doing this? And at that point that led to an argument and we didn't talk anymore. And right after I wouldn't like right after we stopped talking, I found out she got back with her husband. You know, she had got back with the dude, which was fucked up. She, not only did she get back with him, she changed her last name back to his last name. <laughs> you know, and it just seemed like she took a break from her marriage and used me as a placeholder during that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, she used me as a rebound to feel good about herself, to get her self-esteem up, and all of that shit. She used me, and once... She was cool again. She went right back on to him. And it was, yeah, it was really shitty. Like I said, it was really shitty to feel that. Um, how did I personally get over it? Um, I feel like the best way to heal is the first thing you need to do is cut them off entirely. Cut them off. Out of sight, out of mind. I'm not saying, you know... Just act like it don't happen. Of course, you're going to grieve over it. But the first step is to cut them off. Forgive them, of course, because you don't want to be burdened with resentment and bitterness. So forgive them, but then cut them the fuck off. Don't talk to them. They're going to try to hit you up again. Because trust me, people who do that shit, they always look for a lifeboat when they, when they ship is sinking. They always looking for a lifeboat. And unfortunately, people like us, you know, are the lifeboats. They looking for somebody to grab on to, you know, somebody to use to get to their next destination or away from that ship to be repaired, you know, which is that main relationship. So you got to not be that fucking um, rescue boat. They're going to try to hit you up, ignore that shit. And yeah, like I said, that's the first step because out of sight, like I said, out of sight, out of mind. And eventually, over time, time heals. I know it's cliche to say, but time heals all wounds. 
and eventually you're going to go on and find somebody better and just forget about this person. You know, there is somebody out there for everybody. You know, so like I said, just give it time and cut the person off. Something we tend to do all the time that I hate that a lot of us do is when we get lonely, we tend to let shitty people back in our lives. We know what they are about. They did us dirty. They so unapologetic for it. And we t we, we tend to tell ourselves, well, a shitty person is better than no person. Well, that's not fucking true at all. It's be You're better to be on your own. You just can't let yourself be used by these people. So, like I said, cutting them people off is very important to the healing process. So, you don't got to be constantly reminded of it and just let time do its thing. Time will fix it. You will go on to meet new and better people. Some might be worse, though. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Some people might be worse, but you'll go on to meet new people. In general, that's the main thing, meeting new people. And the more new people you meet, the more experiences you have, you'll forget about that shitty you'll forget about that shitty relationship where you were used as the rebound. But like I said, this is only contingent upon you cutting them off. I can't stress that enough. You have to cut them off. Your cutoff game gotta be immaculate. I mean you can't even entertain them. Your shit gotta be A1 cutoff. <laughs> that is the only way this is going to work. You know, so if you do these things to give time, cut the person off, meet new people, get out there, don't be withdrawn or bitter. Like I said, the healing is going to do what the healing is going to come on its own. Your feelings know what to do. You ain't got to do nothing. Your feelings know what they're going to do. You just got to give it the adequate time and, and follow these steps. And that's what I did to get over this bitch that did that to me. <laughs> you know? So, like I said, if I can get over it, I'm sure you can get over it. And I hope you do. I hope you find somebody that make you happy. Somebody that appreciates you and there for you. You know, you deserve, we all deserve to be somebody's number one. We all deserve that. So I hope you do find that. And I hope anybody who's in that position who was a rebound before, you go on and follow these same steps and you find somebody worth your time. You find somebody worth your time. But anyways, I hope that was able, I was able to help. I hope that was able to give you a little bit of closure to this situation. But yeah, I'm about to get out of here. Y'all can drop some comments down below. Why don't y'all give her some advice as well? Give her some positive words, some encouragement. I'm sure she can use it. It will definitely, it'll definitely be helpful. And also, if you got questions of your own, don't be scared to hit me up. I'm here for you guys. Anyways, Chief Foley here signing off. And thank you guys for watching.